yeah. move off the program. Yeah. Amen. Is somebody that's watching today mm. that's tried a lot of stuff like you tried a lot of stuff? Amen. This is dib and dabbed and maybe different religions and different activities. Mm -hmm. And they're watching tonight and maybe they're on the verge of suicide. Maybe they feel that empty, dark hole in their soul. Mm. And they've tried many things to fill it and nothing has worked. Amen. Will you take a few minutes with the camera over there and minister to them and then pray with them? Amen. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you tonight. We thank you for those that are watching. We break every spirit of retention, retaliation, backlash, aborted dreams, aborted visions, every generation curse, hereditary curse, every spirit of suicide, we break it right now. And we speak to you that are out there. I'm an example of what God can do. He takes the least and he puts them on a rock, which is Jesus Christ. So I believe that you that are going to commit suicide, you that are thinking of taking your life tonight, that you just call on the name of the Lord. I challenge you tonight, as I had challenged God, that you call on the name of Jesus and see how real he is and tell him. Tell him exactly how you feel. Don't make it religious or traditional, uh, you know, no litany. Just God, where are you? If you're real, change my life. And you're going to see a changing pace of life where you're going to enter into an eternity that to be absent from his body, you're going to be present with him, and you're going to be serving God in a great way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Pastor Zachary, I got my son. That's your son with you? Your son is a pastor, right? He's a pastor. He's right over there, the good-looking yeah, guy. Young pastor. Pastor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's pastor. Good looking young man. And um, he's pastoring here in New York. In Vancouver, Washington. Vancouver, We're in Washington. Vancouver. Vancouver, Washington. Yeah. And you know what I'm so happy about? 15 years old, I was locked up in Rikers Island, man. You know, and, and the tombs. And, you know, I got eight children. And to watch the legacy that these kids will never have to go through what I went through. I thank God, God for that. I said, God. Thank God. You know, ain't that beautiful? That's incredible. God and it gives good. me peace. Mm -hmm. See, my parents never slept because they never knew if I was coming home or not, you know? And, and now here we have these children that are serving the Lord. My son, I'm so proud of him. Amen. You know, he's uh, working, uh, you know, so hard to keep that church together. Over 100 people just started. And uh, he's been preaching since he was five. Five years old, he was already... <laughs> <laughs> but that's the blessings that God yeah, promises. Come you on. Know. Praise God. And, and we love to see that, you know. So one of the things that we're doing now is we're ra raising an army of children. Mm -hmm. After Talk our Sunday it. services, we go to the malls mm -hmm. and we hand out tracts. We put the kids to pray. I say, you go pray. I'm not going to pray. I want to watch you. And they go out there and pray for people. Mm -hmm. It is so awesome. I took my little son, Joel, a few years ago to uh, Turkey. And I'm human. Turkey to cut your hands off. You better not preach in Turkey if God doesn't send you. So I sent my son. I said, you're nice and cute. You give out the tracks. <laughs> that little boy gave out over a thousand tracks, you know, to the, to the Muslims. And he'd be out there. And they thought he was so cute, you know. And they took the tracks and gave him thank you, pat him on the head. He blessed them and, you know, cast the little devils out. And I'm watching, you know, because I can't do that, you know. I, I do that. They take me to jail. And, and boy, boy, and he's got that in him. Praise you God. see, and he's the one, he's the, the smallest of the family, mm -hmm. and he's the one that they've prophesied on, that he's the one that's going to go furthest. Mm -hmm. What would you say to that parent that's watching, that's hoping and dreaming and believing that their children mm -hmm. would serve the Lord? And here to hear you talk about your son pastoring and your other son in a Muslim country testifying to the grace and goodness of God. What would you say to those parents or single parents? Or married parents that are watching tonight, uh, praying and believing God for their child, but not seeing the manifestation the as manifestation. of yet. Well, I would say, like my wife says, you know, we, uh, we even with our children, it's not a perfect world, you know, but we put the fear of God in them. I speak the fear of God, that the fear of God be upon them. We anoint them with the fear of God, and then we put them to work. You see, these children need to be doing something. They need to go out there and watch the example of the parents. So wherever we travel, we take our kids with us. Mm -hmm. We just came back from Israel and, and Egypt, and uh, we put them to work. And I said, hey, you're not here to sightsee. Go out and give out tracts and tell them about Jesus, you know. Mm -hmm. And the people listen. That's the awesome thing about it. Wow. People listen to children. And, and so if you instill them. the children. Right. Challenge. Challenge. Don't let them live in the comfort right, exactly. zone of the Xbox we world. Exactly. And there's always something for them to do. Yeah. Give them something. something to do. Uh, my kids pray for miracles. You know, it's so wonderful, even Joshua. You know, when we're going traveling, we see people in the airports crippled mm. or something. We go right away, lay hands on them. Wow. You know, and, and, and declare the word. You know, Praise and when God. they see these little children with that pumped up faith, 
wow, you know, put the parents to shame. And I said, good, you know, because uh, little Samuels, that's the way they got to be, you know. And, and the kids, they carry this anointing Praise because God. they don't doubt. You see, we doubt. We measure the word. Yeah. And, bro, they got that crazy face. For, uh, they just go out they and got do the it, crazy you know. Face. By the time you're measuring it out, they're already <laughs> healing the sick. <laughs> they and already and They're rising. Praise and, God. Isn't that wonderful? It's Amen. Wonderful. Well, we thank God for your thank ministry. You. And now uh, 30 seconds is left. Amen. Let's touch and agree for Haiti. Yes. Let's believe God for yes. uh, restoration, recovery. Yes, Amen. Lord. Father, we just pray In right Jesus now name. for Haiti, all of Haiti. Thank you, Lord. We cover Haiti with the blood of Jesus, yes, the grace Lord. of Jesus. Lord, we Thank pray, Lord, you would step into that which the world calls a tragedy. Yes, Lord. And use it as your platform Thank you, Jesus. to shake that nation for yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord, we don't believe you sent it, but we believe you can use it. Thank you, Lord. So save the loss, even in the midst Thank of tragedy. Jesus. Bring many to the guiding light and love of Jesus Christ. Hurt and heal. Yes. Heal the hurt. Heal the wounded, Lord. And may any that are under rubble and under rocks and under drywall, may they be found speedily, Lord, and recovered. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you so much. Amen. <laughs> Bless you. Stay right there. Amen. Well, tonight, we got the word. That God can change anybody, God can reach anybody, and that there's nothing too hard for God. Wherever you are, wherever you've been, whatever you've done, God's grace and mercy is being extended toward you tonight to turn things around, to create a better tomorrow, a better year, a better life. He said in John 10 and 10, I've come that you would have life and that you would have it more abundantly. We learned tonight that we got to keep trusting in God and we got to put our faith to work. Amen. We got to take it to the streets and get busy for amen. God. I encourage you to take what you've heard today. Amen. And don't just leave it in your church and don't just preach it in your church, but take it to your community. Give God a platform to work where you work. Give God the opportunity to speak through you. Whatever, whatever you do for a living, make it your ministry and watch God use it. Amen. To change people all around you. In summary, I want to say this to you. Don't let your past rob you of your future. Every one of our guests came from dark things and history that was just bad, nasty, and society may have said it was too late for them and it was over for them and they were disqualified from being used by God. But God, on the other hand, said, because of all that, I'm going to show off in you. And I'm going to take what the enemy meant for your bad and I'm going to make it work for your good. So I challenge you today, amen, to stop looking back and to start looking forward. As I open, so I close. Your best days are not behind you. Yes. Your best days are yet ahead of you. I encourage you to keep on looking up because heaven is about to invade your life real good. Expect a miracle. Expect the supernatural. And watch God do it right before your very eyes. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. Give him the praise. Give him the glory. Celebrate him in advance because he's faithful to do what he said he would do. Be blessed. See you next time on Praise Ye the Lord. We're so glad you've been with us for Praise the Lord. TBN has a worldwide ministry. We need your love gifts, large or small, to help keep the gospel of Jesus Christ going around the world. So write today. Praise the Lord, P.O. Box A, Santa Ana, California, 92711. Or in Canada, write TBN, P.O. Box 768, Station B, Ottawa, Ontario, K1P, 5P8. If you haven't asked Christ into your life, call our prayer partner now and pray to receive Jesus as Savior and Lord. Now until next time, remember to praise the Lord. This program has been brought to you through the prayers and contributions of our faithful partners throughout North America and the world. Experience love. Experience.